front of you and just get witch timed and then and then you and then you're witch timed. So. Another thing is that um because Yugi is such a big uh, oh, fat character, uh he's more susceptible to eating the bayonetta combos compared to uh anyone else because it's a lot easier for them to SDI out. Yeah, that's true. He he won't have a chance of getting slipped up, but the dog getting involved there. Yeah. Uh yeah, he hasn't been able to land a hit quite yet. And we saw at the beginning that he tried to throw the Gordo and then the guns just like cancelled it out, so yeah, Gordos seem pretty nullified in this matchup, which is one of uh, Duty's main tools. Okay, but he does have these grab combos. Okay, oh, good Nair to get over the uh, side B punish. All right, just like that, he's bringing it back. Unfortunately, uh, he's not inputting his uh, aerials after the downfield follow-up as early as he should be, and the duck actually uh, interrupting that combo. Uh, I don't know, could be, he might be like a little bit nervous that he'll get, oh yeah, he, yeah, he went for the up air. Uh, it could be a little, sometimes if you're like a little bit late with the follow-ups, you could get, uh, witch times if you're like, which is not exactly a true follow-up. Yeah. Uh, yeah, right now, percent's close. Okay, but that time he tried to punish the side B, but, uh, it was, uh, too close to him, so when he w dropped shield, he got, he got hit. Uh, actually, when uh, Duty uses the uppy, I want to see uh, Tantako just which time when which time the landing. So right now he, he punished that with the up air and didn't kill. But okay, nice swings the Gordo right back at him. Okay, guns very good option. Making a penguin going extinct here with these bullets. Oh wow, he makes it back. Yeah, I thought he would be a little bit too far and he would have to. Uh, like cancel it, but he didn't actually have to. He was still on the upswing, so that's good stuff. And oh, okay, and that sweet spot backer is definitely gonna take it at 204. Yeah, well, that's that's the heavy character factor. Okay, surprised that Gordo got through. Oh, oh, oh. Gordo. Oh, <laughs> okay. And actually, air dodge made him overcommit too much, and Hanko just like that gonna bring it back. Yo, the Gordo getting involved right there. It says I don't need RNG to get the Gordos. Like you can be shook by the end of the day. Okay. Let's go. See, he's fishing for those. Got the up Okay. Unfortunately, he didn't cancel the first uh, four there into an up B. Uh, I think uh, it might have been because he started with an up B off the ground and then used his side B. So he didn't have two of them stocked. I don't oh, think. And those ducks just slowing it down. Okay. So this. Okay. Oh. Oh, is he dead? And he's dead. Yeah. Yeah. All the way at the top of the screen, but Hanko, he, he put in work. Struggling a little bit, but then uh, he did it. He did end up taking that uh, stock. Yeah. So uh, the one thing I definitely like to see from Hon uh, Hanko is that um, after Tantaka was like the aerial afterburner kick, uh, he sort of let let's go shield after, and then sort of lets himself get hit either by the second one, and then that's where the damage uh, comes in. Mm. So I'd like to actually see him uh, respect more options from uh, Tantaka. And either try to punish it or reset it right back to neutral. Because I felt like him eating those is what really cost him in that set here. In that game, at least. Right now, he's switching the cloud, so. Yeah. I, I, I like to switch. He was, he was putting in work with the Duty, but uh, I, don't know, I feel like Duty gets so much out of the Gordos, and if you can just nullify that, then they'll have a hard time. Yeah, Dan and Duty, I feel, is too slow to actually uh, get the punishes on Bayonetta. Yeah, Cloud's a lot faster, and the sword can go through a lot of, uh, like, the aerials. Like, yeah. you can actually beat out some of the stuff, so, like, Bayonetta can't just nair at you. But, I mean, uh, Tantaco hasn't been really uh, throwing a whole lot of those out. He's been using lots of side beam, but we'll see how he plays this game. Alright, can I rack up 26% with that? Okay, clean. Okay, this is the side B afterwards. Ooh, Rogue S-Smash. Tentacle not able to get the punish, however. Uh, doesn't buffer the walk-in to get the grab. And, uh, gonna be there to sort of snuff him out, but... Okay, up smash. Okay, grab to punish the witch time. Gets a nice up air afterwards. Oh, oh witch time, and he should be dead. Oh, oh wow. Never mind. That's that nerf's coming into play. Yeah. You don't have time to fully charge your up smash on uh, slightly weaker hits. And I think that was the weak part of the up air, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, or does that not matter, actually? The uh, clouds up here? 
Yeah, like if you get uh, like a weaker hit, is it always just going to be the same thing? Even the weaker hit is more so the lingering hip, uh, hitbox. Oh. But I think it's like the first, uh, at least first 20 frames is where you get the sweet spot. Okay. Or at least a strong hit. Uh, right now, Tantaco's up. Okay, okay. So might be okay. Good DI, I think. Uh, actually, I don't even know if it's uh, a lot of the time if Bayonetta is just messing up, if she can't get the thing. I think or it was if it's more DI. so option coverage, but I think he could have went for another up B oh. instead of the side B. But that was dependent on if he still had the second jump or not. Okay. Okay. That up B. Close him oh, up. Oh, baits out the air dodge, okay. Okay. Alright. Gets uh what's it called? RCO lag. After using his uh afterburner kick, he's gonna lose that stock. And this is still sort of doable for Hanko. He's just gonna have to be really uh patient on how he recovers here. Because okay. if he throws out too many hitboxes and Tantago sees it, which time we're coming to play and can't take that stock. Yeah, and Cloud does have the comeback factor. If he's patient enough uh, and gets a read on that down B, he can do this. Okay. Yeah, he, yeah he's being more patient now. He's not really throwing out a whole lot. Okay, okay. down tilt. Oh, okay. what's that? Tries to go for the damage. Unfortunately, not close enough, and Tantago sitting in shield, respecting it. Yeah. So he was ready. Okay. Air dodges. No punish. And uh, this is sort of that percent where uh, Bayonetta has a little bit of trouble. Because uh, a grab won't totally kill. Okay. okay. Down tilts. Yeah. Good read. Try to go for the down tilt in the up air to try to finish it off, but sees the roll and gets a clean S smash with that fist. Yeah, and uh, that down tilt, it, it, it is good shield pressure because it doesn't, it doesn't have a whole lot of cooldown. So you saw he just kept going for it, 